Tip number two, what does Bubble not do so well? What is Bubble.io's main limitations? And I would say that one of those is that since the introduction of workload units, some apps have become less viable or maybe not completely viable. And so I will include analytics based apps in that simply because the way that computing power is now calculated in Bubble and the way that your Bubble app would scale based on cost and through the different plans that they offer, I would say that building a clone of like Google Analytics or say Plausible or Fathom analytics based software uh, is going to become less viable with Bubble because of the cost. And that's simply because if you're sending a workflow, if you're running a workflow basically for every time the page is loaded uh, and you're spreading that out across hundreds of client websites because you're doing analytics, then it's really going to count up those workload units quickly. The other group of apps that I'd say are not great to build with Bubble, uh, and this will become a bit of a downer for some people is native apps like iOS apps or Android apps. And yes, there are many people who have successfully built a web app first and then they've used a process known as wrapping or using a software wrapper to deploy their app to the Apple App Store, uh, the Android, the Google Play Store. <sighs> but I, I think that, that is just risky. People have done it successfully. You can find plenty of examples of it. However, there's always the chance that that app will get rejected, in my opinion. Uh, I'm really holding out for Bubble to release a proper internal tool baked into their software for creating an iOS and an Android app. And until then, maybe it's fine for an internal project or a side project, but I wouldn't count on um, building the, the basis of your business around trying to transform a Bubble app into a native app. Now, Bubble can serve as a really good um, beginner foundation for your web app and your database and your workflows but then I'd recommend finding some other development platform uh, in order to link in with your bubble database so that the the UI and what the client sees for your app that's built elsewhere but you can easily integrate that in with what you build with bubble for web.